So I got a, only a couple hop. I got four hoppers and I got ten adult mice with me right now. So we're gonna show some mice feeding today. I show feel like I show a lot of fish on the channel. Got a bunch of people saying, "Hey, don't only feed fish," which is cool. I appreciate everyone helping out, shooting their their you know, sending a comment or whatever, sending their idea or whatever they had to say. But I do not only feed fish, I do feed mice and fish is like a good supplement and then I get mice and rats, whatever. I do get it in there. We're gonna show some mice today. I got, for four hoppers, I'm gonna be picky who I give them to. I'm actually gonna give my Crevos. We'll give them a hopper. So, got some guys bouncing around in here. Very good size. So, this is one of my female black tail Crevos. And uh, right now I'm just, I'm holding the mouse down so it doesn't bite the snake because it is live. And the snake is eating it from the butt first. So I don't want the mouse to gnaw on the snake while it's dying. So unfortunately I need to hold it and it'll all be over soon. Yeah, so this female that I, that I have right here, the way her skin looks, everything, the way her shine is. Uh, I didn't buy her being het for Exanthic. But I'm confident, 100% confident, that I'm going to breed her with my 100% pet male. And if not, you know, at some point, I'm getting an exanthic baby from these. I know I'm going to buy one for sure, like a, a het exanthic female, at some point. Alright, mouse is dead. So I'm actually going to feed, I'll feed them one mouse, feed her one mouse, and then I'll probably feed her a fish too after this. But I'm going to just show the mice for right now. I already got fish defrosted. Let's go. This guy? This guy's name is Simba. Oh yeah, that one's name was Marilyn. This guy I got from Black Pearl, and he's 100% het for Exantic. Super clean, has no models. Oh, let's stay in the cage. Solid black tail. So. Let's stay in there. Yeah, very excited for him to grow. I have one more male black tail that's a lot bigger. He stays in that bow file. His name is Charles, Charles Manson. This guy's name is Simba. Uh, that guy's actually super clean too. He actually doesn't have any models, uh, which is, is pretty cool. Both to some people. Honestly, I think I like the modeled look. I, I like them both, but I have a unicolor and she's completely modeled all the way up. Color matches. I think I like that look better, honestly. The super modeled look I want to get more of. So I have a lot of, I think they would call it clean line. Uh, because they're very just super clean and then straight to the black tail um, But yeah a lot of models fuck. I love that look. I think it looks hella cool All right, let's put Simba back That's two hoppers down This one is my pride and joy. This is the first dry mark on first black tail Kribo I ever got her name is Metroid and right now Oh, she's about to shed. Oh, she's shedding right now. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put some uh, put some hand sanitizer on so I don't have any mice smell on me. And I bought her as a black tail Kribo. And it's gonna be hard to tell right now, especially that she's shedding right now. But you can see after because we're gonna we're gonna pretty much shed her right now. This is the first one I got. Didn't eat for we'll say three months. At the time I was newer, new, so I'd never force fed a snake. And I finally made the decision. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, 
and now she is really growing. She eats very well. I'm actually surprised she's having shedding issues. She just soaked yesterday. Alright, she's actually going to need a whole nother soak. So, let's just pull her out. You guys can see her. Her tail, it's hard to tell right now since she's in shed. I'll try and get a clip after I soak her and she's done. But her tail is dark brown. Um, nah, it was the first Kribo I got. You know, I got it from someone else who had bred them. Would I go to them again? Yeah, maybe. Um, but I love her because she was my first one. But does she have a super solid black tail? No, she doesn't. Does that make her a unicolor? She sure as hell looks like one. Uh, you could sell them as a black tail because it's uh, just a little bit more money. Unicolor is just a little bit cheaper for some reason. Same snake, but, you know, that's up for debate. Alright, so I'm going to just put her over here for a second. We'll get back to her. That sucks. I was going to shed her really quick, but... For some reason, she's still super, she's having issues um, with this shed. I just soaked her yesterday and put that shed ease in, so it's actually kind of surprising. So that would have been one hopper. I mean, we're going to bring her right over here. I don't know how good or good you can or can't see. Here, let's get you in the light. I definitely think I should start pre-killing because the mouse got one bite in. And it's kind of annoying having to hold it every single time. Black tail, black tail, black tail, and then hopper. Did the unicolor eat fish yesterday? I don't think that much. We're gonna give the unicolor. Honestly, one of my favorite looking snakes that I have. I have I like I love damn near. I say damn near. I love every single one of these. But the way this unicolor looks is... Man. So she did have some fish yesterday. Man, that is a unicolor Kribo. And that... Mm, God, that is... Hey, where are you going? Look how beautiful that snake is. Unicolor Kribo. It is a female. From Black Pearl Reptiles. I named her Pearl because she gets the name... From Black Pearl because she is that beautiful. Hey, don't bite her. Hella modeled. I love this snake. I want to get a modeled unicolor. I don't want to breed her to a black tail, honestly. I want to, I want to breed her to a modeled unicolor and and produce babies that look like this. I mean, she is crazy looking. And then I want to get black tails that are hella modeled like this too. Where are you going? into the cave. Yeah, she's so cool. So, definitely, uh, I'm sure this year, honestly, because I got a, a good amount of black tails. Crazy ass little snake. All right, so we're gonna put this lid on. Sweet, so those are the hoppers, and um, yeah, pretty cool. Sometimes they get pinky rats. Um, 
that was all the hoppers that I have. Anyone who feeds live, if you notice, if you leave the mice in there for too long, not even that long, just that for a period of time, they gang up on one and start fucking eating one. Like, it happens all the time. It's crazy. Alright, this is a northern pine snake. And this, this guy is probably the most defensive snake that I have. He hisses really, really loud. And always strikes at me. And doesn't like to be touched or moved or bothered or don't go near the cage. So, I love this snake. I can't wait for him to get bigger. I got him at an expo. I got him at, uh, where? Alameda County. Yeah, the Alameda County Expo. Uh, at the fairgrounds. Pretty cool. Fucking love this snake. At some point, I'll get a female for him. I'll be able to breed him. But, that'll be a future project, honestly. I'm not, I'm not in a rush for that at all. I want, I want that to be a later project. Those and Mexican Black King snakes. I have one Mexican Black, but those will be later on down the road. I definitely like them now, but for right now, I'm after different projects, so. Yeah, that's the Northern Pine. I'm gonna raise that guy up. Let's mix it up some. So this snake, I'm not gonna pull the hide off because I don't wanna stress her out, so I want her to eat. But give it about 20 seconds and should see exactly what it is. I only have one of these, actually, so. Almost saw what it is. There we go. There's a little ball python. So this is a female ball python. This is, her name's Mochi. And, alright, let's see if I remember this. This is a, a, a firefly spot nose. Spot nose firefly. Firefly spot nose. Right? Those are the two words that it is. Honestly, I have no idea what the morphs are or what they mean. Um, we got it at an expo. And I'm going to leave it at that. But I do love the snake. And it's a great eater. Which is any snake keeper's happy thing, for sure. Which is what I'm learning. It's like, when snakes don't eat, it, for some reason, it just pisses me off. It's so frustrating. I get it. It's part of the game. I don't hold it personal. Take it personal. But, I mean, you want all your snakes to eat, obviously. It's a good feeding day when you got snakes that don't eat and everybody's eating. You're just like, fuck, this is so fun. And then when they don't eat and everyone like wants to be like, alright, I just paid for food, just got you food. And you don't want to eat it, fuck you then. Maybe that's just me. Alright, that's mochi in there. Hella cool. Her name is Mulan, and she is a female Vietnamese, Vietnamese blue beauty. And surprisingly enough, I bought her as a Taiwan beauty. And at the time, I didn't know. So there was a different Taiwan beauty at another shop that was bigger that I was looking at and I didn't get. Then I go over to this shop, and they have this one, and it's just like, dude tells me it's Taiwan beauty. Fuck it, I'll take it. Good price, even way cheaper than at the other shop. So, it was smaller. I take it. Later on, I'm doing research. Then I want Blue Beauties. I find out it's a Blue Beauty. Whatever. Shop gets all butthurt because they think I know better. They think I scammed it for the snake. Motherfucker, you didn't even know that you sold me the wrong snake till after. Then you take... Okay, whatever. Then, now I got this beautiful female Blue Beauty. Her name is Mulan. She's obviously eating well, doing well. She's in this nice rack getting taken care of, you know what I mean? She is home, she is where she should be, alright? And fuck you if you think otherwise, okay? I didn't know at the time, and now I know. And because you act like a baby, you ain't getting shit. You could have brought it up, I'm just saying, I'm gonna bring it up now, you could have brought it up, and when I showed up to your shop after, you could have said, hey, this was a mistake, an accident, but honestly, you walked in the back, and you didn't say shit, you pouted, and then you say some bullshit at an expo, like, I don't know. Fuck out of here, homie. Snake's doing great, okay? And I'm gonna get a male, a breeder, and we're gonna live happily ever after. And that's the story. And I don't show up to your bullshit shop no more. Back to the snakes! So let's go a little female Japanese. Japanese. Her name's, um, Yoshi.
And she's a little bit schizo still. I think because she's small. But she, she's a good eater now. She took a break during winter time. So I pretty much brumated her and the male because they both stopped eating. So she's real small, but she did not eat and she wouldn't take anything. So fuck it, took them off heat, brumated them, put them back on heat at the same time. And now she's eating great. She sometimes eat, fi eats fish too, which is cool. Eats mice, eats rats, live, frozen thawed, pre-killed by the mice. And she'll eat chicken hearts and chicken gizzards because you get that wiggle, you know what I mean? Or I got that wiggle. I don't know if you got that wiggle. But my hips don't lie. So, she got to eat. She's eating great. I'm going to let her kill that mouse. And she even might get two because I might have extras. So, some are going to get probably get two. Lucifer. Goku. Oh, damn. That thing hella bloody. I'll pull a blue beauty out for some reason. It's a bloody mess in there. You want one more? Where's my phone? Take a picture of that. I always lose my phone. Making a mess. She got blood all over her face. Fucking killer. Love that snake. I don't know how someone could get rid of her. You know, I think we're just gonna wrap this video. I'm probably get the rid of the rest of these. I still probably get the rid of the rest of these. I still got I'll probably get my northern pine one more. Got Japanese. All that stuff. I got fish to feed. And yeah, whatever. Go check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Schmo. Thanks for watching. Get out of here now. Get out of here now. Get out of here now.